Hey guys, it's Dr. Grace, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing dermal fillers. Now, many of you may not realize just how many kinds of fillers there are out there on the market today, and they are all created very, very differently. And I do think it's very important for you to know what's being put inside your body and to understand why your injector may select one filler over the other filler. So first things first, what is a dermal filler? A dermal filler is essentially a gel-like substance that's injected underneath the skin to restore volume loss, to soften creases, and to just reduce the appearance of wrinkles as we age. The type of filler that I am discussing today is called hyaluronic acid fillers, or HA for short. These are the most popular type of fillers used on the market today. Now, the reason why they're so popular is because there's so many great qualities about them. Hyaluronic acid is a naturally occurring substance in our body, and it's found in our collagen matrix. So our body does really well with it. It's very bio-friendly. Now our body also metabolizes these fillers and the rate at which they metabolize is dependent on the person and their metabolism, but also the components of the actual filler. So to understand what makes the hyaluronic acid molecules into a gel-like filler, you have to understand these molecules are little spheres and they need to be bonded together. And the cross links between the fillers is what determines actually the weight of the filler. So the more cross links you have or the shorter the cross link it is, then the heavier the molecules are as a group and therefore it's a thicker type of filler. So with that said, I'm gonna give you a little demonstration of what I mean by that with candy. Now, as you can see, we've got peanut M&Ms, which are larger. And so these are your larger molecules, right? And then you've got medium, which are your regular M&Ms, and then you have the minis. Now, if you look at this, the minis are actually more dense. There's more in there and they're closer linked. So if you imagine, this is actually heavier than this. So this will be your thicker type of filler. Now, these three are all very much similar, but the qualities that they will have because of their weight and the type of cross links is going to vary from filler to filler. But this right here is pretty easy to understand because each of the molecules are the same size. So you have peanut, they're all peanut M&Ms. Now you got the medium, they're all regular M&Ms. And then these are all mini M&Ms. So they're all the same size and shape. And if you see the spaces that are in between them, they're very predictable because they're all the same shape. And these all fill in, the spaces will fill in with water. That gives a great quality to a filler because it makes it hydrophilic, which means that it loves water. When we are filling in, let's say an under eye area, we wanna use a filler that is hydrophilic because we want to underfill it a little bit. So when you walk out, you may think that it's not filled all the way, but in a few days, it's gonna absorb that water. So you won't really see any remnants of that filler remaining. Um, for example, we're gonna talk about the Juvederm line of fillers and the Juvederm line carries two different types of technology of fillers, Hylocross and Vicross. And this is where it gets a little bit confusing. So follow along with me. These are all hyalocross fillers because the molecules are the same size. And like I said, they're all very hydrophilic. They love water. Their cohesivity is better than any other filler out on the market. What, mean, what that means is that they are cohesive, they stick together and they can be molded and shaped yet they will not come apart. Now this is your Juvederm Ultra and Ultra Plus. Your Ultra Plus is a little thicker than the Ultra. So that would be used in a deeper type of restoration. So if you have a deeper nasolabial fold, that's what I would use there is an ultra plus. Ultra, I love to use maybe like under the eyes or the lips because you can, like I said, still shape it, but it's not gonna go running away from you. So that would be your ultra plus and your ultra. Now I'm gonna move these out of the way and we're gonna talk about the, Vicr the Vicross technology. That would be something like this where you have a mix of different molecule sizes. And this would be your Juvederm Bobella, Velour, and Voluma. Um, the peanut M&Ms here are mixed with the mini M&Ms. So if you see that, the spaces are actually pretty much taken up instead of with water with smaller molecules, tighter cross links. Now something like this is like a medium filler and the spaces here are again filled in with, with the mini M&Ms. So what you'll see is that these are less hydrophilic, but the properties that these have is a very high G prime, which is what we call elasticity. Elasticity is how well does a filler bounce back to shape after there's pressure that's put against it. So Voluma right here is very dense and it is a fantastic foundation for the mid face correction area because you can really lay it on top of the bone and expect a nice solid foundation, but because it's elastic, you can put a pressure on it and it's not gonna really change its structure. But it's a little too firm 
for what you would want to use for let's say a fold area that's going to have a lot of movement because you don't want that movement to be seen or even felt it doesn't feel as soft now velour is kind of middle ground it has excellent properties of elasticity and of cohesivity so i really like velour because it's really easy to handle and to use and if you just have the slightest little line here or the slightest little bit there we'll use velour for that and maybe not an ultra plus because it's not really as deep and bobella over here of all the fillers is the least cohesive so it has a tendency to spread out very well but it has good g prime which means that it's elastic so it's not going it still will rebound a little bit so this is an excellent filler when you want maybe like a slight enhancement of your lips but you just don't really want anyone to notice it gives a really nice smooth lip gloss effect it's fantastic it's a great filler for fine fine lines and wrinkles right above the lips or any little areas that are etched into the skin that's your filler right there so that was it for our demonstration i hope that was helpful in understanding how these are engineered to meet very specific needs if you have any questions put it in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe take care bye